I've come to witness a mysterious phenomenon that happens here in Denmark for a few short weeks every year. First few appearing, I think. These are starlings, making their annual migration between southern Europe and Scandinavia. A single flock can contain a million birds or more. Their dance obscures the fading evening light, giving the formation its eerie name, the Black Sun. There's another massive group coming. There are thousands of them up there. And it's not really clear why they do this. It's uh, maybe that kind of safety in numbers. The whole shape looks quite intimidating. It looks like one large black beast kind of frightening off any predators that might be looking for a bit of dinner before sunset. Someone's hypnotic. It's amazing, there's so many of them. It's a wonder they don't smash into each other and sort of knock some out of the sky, but they don't seem to. An incredible synchronization. And you're never quite sure what it's going to do next. It's an almost impossible achievement. How can each bird predict the movements of thousands of others? That's extraordinary. As strange as it seems, by reducing each starling to numbers, we can model what's happening on a computer. We start with a flock of virtual starlings, all flying at different speeds and in different directions. And then we give them some simple rules. The first is for each bird to fly at the same speed. The second rule is to stay close to your neighbours. And finally, if you see a predator nearby, get out of the way. Three simple rules are all it takes to create something that looks uncannily like the movement of a real flock of starlings. Oh, here they come. Oh. <laughs> in fact, a recent study has shown that even in a flock of hundreds of thousands of birds, each starling only has to keep track of its seven nearest neighbours.